Hello everyone, my name is Kanak Rai and welcoming you all on this webinar where we're going to discuss about Rodeo strategy. But of course, first we go deep dive into it before that I want to introduce myself and I would like to have a introduction from you guys as well. So whoever have joined this webinar, welcoming you all again to this one and please let me know which city you are from, what is your name and what is the all unpaid account status you guys are having right now. Because this is a really important information for me to make sure the information that I give is customized as per your account status. And again, the one more thing which I would like all of you to confirm for me is, are you guys able to hear me properly? Because that is the most important thing for me to continue further and make sure this webinar goes smoothly. So without wasting any more time, again, I will introduce myself. My name is Kanan and please let me know whether yes or no, are you guys able to hear me clearly? And of course, are you guys able to see my trading screen or not? Because that is of course, I mean, if it's a webinar, you guys should be able to see my trading screen, right? So I think I got a first comment from my friend over here, JMD Viral Short, nice name by the way. Hello, hi, how are you JMD? I, that's what I'm gonna call you, considering I don't know your name right now. And of course, if you have any unique name like that, please let me know your actual name so that I can address you by your name instead of what the channel name is you have, okay? So at the moment, we're gonna talk about this strategy, Rodeo. I wish to know from you guys how many of you do have the experience of road you and how actually it turned out for you guys, you know, because I think having different point of view about the same thing helps you to broaden your horizon regarding whether you should use it or not in the coming future. And for me personally, more often than not, Rodeo has been really good, really amazing. I just did a webinar yesterday in Hindi language only on All of Trade India YouTube channel for people who prefer Hindi language over English. And of course, I had a great result. In case if someone is more comfortable in Hindi, they can just follow the All Unpaid YouTube channel, All Unpaid India, subscribe to that one. And of course, watch that entire video to have a better understanding in the Hindi language. And of course, for people who prefer English, this is the right place for you all. I can see right now my friend Pavan has joined. Hi, welcome, GMD. Yes, thank you for confirming. I'm presuming that right now you guys are able to hear me clearly. And that's fabulous. Grish Gori, good evening, sir. Good evening, Grish Ji. How are you doing? I am sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong in advance. I'm sorry for that. Yuchina Devano. I'm really sorry if the name I'm pronouncing is wrong. And do let me know how to correctly pronounce your name because for the next time, I want to make sure I say it correctly. Okay? But of course, since my friends have joined already, so without wasting much more time, let's deep, uh, dive right into it. But before we go into Rodeo strategy, let me talk a bit about the platform interface for people who are new to the platform. So guys, let's get started. Whatever beverage you want to have, you have it. I have my cup of tea with me. You can have your coffee or whichever beverage you prefer. And let's start this thing. So right now, if you see my trading screen over here, I primarily divide this interface into three parts. The left hand side, the center one and the right hand side. So let me close this one for a part and yeah. So if we start from the left topmost corner, you see the trade section over here, right? So whichever trade I have opened in this account, all the trades I can see over here, the green color will represent the profitable trades. The white color will represent the trade which were neither profit nor in loss. The red, unfortunately, will represent the trade that didn't go in profit for you. And of course, if any trade is going on currently, you can see it over here going on. And as I, as you can see right now, in fixed term trading, I don't have any trade going on at the moment because of which you can't see anything over here. But to give an example on this one, we can go on Forex mode because in Forex right now, I have trades going on. I have actually nine trades going on right now. And the trades shown in green are showing me profit. The trades in red are showing me loss. And you can see the things. So the, this one is already closed, showing in history. And these are my active trades right now. Okay. Afterwards, we come to the market section. So what is market section basically? Uh, whenever you need any further assistance in terms of tools, in terms of tricks, in terms of signal, in terms of let's say strategies, you can get it from this market section. Okay. If we talk about events on the platform, we make sure we have some events going on to make sure trading is more interesting and more simplified for you guys. As if someone who has been a long bit on the platform, they are already aware of this from beginner to achiever educational marathon, which ends by the way on September 25. So if you're not participated, please don't waste more time and go and participate in this event. Okay. And of course, in case if you miss out for some XYZ reasons, nothing to worry about, nothing to be sad about because from September 28, we will be having risk free trades your way. And definitely you can participate in that in case if you miss this one. Okay. 
the last on this section is the help section if you go over here so based on the account status whether you are advanced expert or let's say starter you have the option of sending an email having a conversation via chat or having a call with the customer support regarding any of the concern that you want to address whether it's deposit withdraw verification and what not if if you want to learn something by yourself about the platform let's say about usd or trading or any other thing verification you can come over here and you can learn that if i go to help center and let's say i want to learn about how to make a deposit via usdt i can simply type the keyword over here and all the articles related to this particular keyword will appear for you what is a usdt account how do i deposit funds to a usdt account and what not you can check all of them and i think this will help you with a better clarification and to make sure you have a much smoother and convenient stay on the platform okay afterwards if we go back again i i think that's it that's all we have done over here we have written tutorials over here for you guys as well and this was the entire left hand side for you if you come to the center most part so whatever graph you seeing over here is basically the movement of a particular asset in the market and what is the asset you can see the name over here which is the currency at asset australian dollar versus us dollar and 87% over here represents the rate of return on this particular asset so if i open a trade of 10 usd for example and it goes profitable i will have a return it means a profit of 8.7 usd on that particular trade if we come over here this symbol over here it represents a signal section i can click on this one to start that one if i want to change the graph type or chart type i can click on this section to get that one if i want to let's say use an indicator i want to use a strategy or a oscillator or i want to draw something on the graph itself i can do this from the technical analysis section and in any case i want to monitor two graphs at once or two assets at once i can do it from this particular section as well multiple charts okay and after all this is the time frame of the chart and this is all in the center most area if we go to the right hand side for example you see strategy and the balance i have is 94.2 for usd if i click on this one i have the demo account i have usd account usdt account strategy 3 and triple we bound i have all these multi accounts created and i can see the entire list over here and the same goes for you guys as well if any one of you have created a multi account you can see the entire list and you can switch between them really that easily if you want if you want to know about number 1 deposit number 2 withdraw number 3 transactions of all the deposit and withdraw number 4 transfer between the multi account all these four points are available for you in this particular payment section you can check it from there okay afterwards this is the symbol over represents the status of my account this is the profile section this is the amount where we put and open a trade and this is the trading duration if you have restricted trades like me you can use it from here if you want to create a pending order you can do it from here and of course the most famous up and the down button any confusion till now for any of my friends over here please feel free to drop me a text because i will make sure to address it right away and of course if there is a issue later on if and you have the advance or the expert status please connect with your manager they will provide you personal assistance to help you in this case okay any moment any question guys sorry not the moment but a question uh let me see some comments of my friends over here i mean please hello parvez abhishek kumar i am deposit money but not come in my account please help me i am extremely sorry but in nothing to worry about in that case just have a contact with the customer support they will make sure to help you better okay so now let's get back to the main thing that why why we all are here for the rodeo strategy so if i just go on this one technical analysis i type rodeo or i search rodeo i have this option available for the expert traders and it basically composed of stochastic oscillator and mscd okay if i click on this one i'll get okay if i click on this one i'll get the option over here and that's it this is my stochastic oscillator this is my mscd and actually it's really simple it's a two slash three step process which you can use and understand in your trading in a day to day life actually so what is step number 1 i've already written over here for you guys step number 1 is as soon as the candle changes color we get the first signal so if i come back over here let's presume that i am 
let me drag it here let me drag it here and yeah we are there now so let's presume that we are somewhere here or rather not we are somewhere here so what we have seen now at this point we saw a series of green candle formation but all of a sudden now we have the candle color changed to red from green so it means the step number 1 was justified we can see the candle changing its color and the very same way if we were let's say here we saw a series and that we can see the color changing in terms of where the hikinashi candle is concerned and that is all what step number 1 mean over here okay so here as soon as the candle changes color we get the first signal that's what it means now comes step 2 if the stochastic is below 20 or above 80 we can open a trade now if i take the same example again let me draw these lines again you know i had a teacher in my school and colleges what they said is that whenever you want to teach something or learn something always use a pen and paper because it really helps you to have a better understanding that's why i always believe that whenever i'm explaining something to my traders i need to write it down because that have a much longer impact on the memory so yeah so if i take the earlier example again step number 1 is justified over here step number 1 is justified over here right guys now step number 2 what was that in a uh, stochastic it's either leaving the 20 barrier or it's leaving the 80 barrier so if i see it over here let me extend this line uh sorry about that yeah this line i have extended over here this line i have extended over here so here if we see it's leaving the 80 barrier right so it means step number 2 is also clear we can open a trade and if we see over here it's leaving the green which is a 20 barrier so it means the step number 2 is clear over here we can open a trade now we can open a downward trade and you can see we could have easily make a profitable trade similarly goes for this one if you open a upward trade we could easily make a profitable trade on this one as well and that is it that is it guys if you remember these two steps there are two great things that will happen to you one is that you will make logical reasonable trades the second is that you will avoid illogical unreasonable trades and both of these things will be really helpful for you to maintain your account balance and to increase it at the very same time again i will repeat the same process for you guys step number 1 the hikinashi candle changes its color from red to green or green to red okay in the case number 1 we can see it's changing from green to red done our work is done step number 1 is done step number 2 we see over here that it's leaving the 80 barrier so it means step number 2 is also done we can open a downward trade as simple as that our work is done if we come over here the color is changing step number 1 done we see either it's leaving the 80 barrier 20 barrier it's leaving 20 barrier so upward trade and of course it's done in both the cases we could easily make a profitable trade and that's what this is all about okay now some of you might ask okay now it's clear it's done but what is the use of mc what mcd does is basically it segregate a good signal and a great signal okay so in this case if you see mcd cloud it's approaching zero if you see over here and this is the third step if you want you can follow it if you want you can avoid it choice is your personal it just will help you to segregate between the signal and if you see over here again it's again approaching zero So if you see it approaching zero, it means it is a really good signal. If that is not the case, it might be just a okay, okay signal for you to take a trade. But of course, even in that case, you can make a profitability. That is why I mentioned step number three as a choice. It's not compulsory to form or to follow, but if you want, you can do it. If you don't want, that's absolutely fine. And that's where my explanation ends. And let's take some trade to see if we can do it or not. Okay. But of course, you guys can take a screenshot of this thing, or you guys can just write it down. But please remember, because this will really help you with a simplification on what actually Rodeo strategy means and how we can use it. Now, let's see some assets. I come to Asia Composite. See, 
the step one is not clear only over here because the candle has not changed the color yet but of course if we see a green candle forming over here it means step number one is coming right here if we were somewhere here we could see the step number one coming right we could have opened a trade but here we can't do it right now we have to wait for some time or we can look for other assets let me narrow it down first to some smaller amount five The candle has changed its color. Yes. Do we see it leaving the 80 barrier? Yes. Is it approaching zero? No. So it means it is a good signal, but not a great signal. As simple as that. Okay. Uh, one of my friend is asking right now, uh, Abhishek Kumar, how can I can I contact with customer support? Please tell me. Okay. So uh, Abhishek, I'll repeat myself again over here. If you come over here on this help section. You will have the option of support and from here you can have a conversation with customer support via email, via uh, chat or via a call. Okay. So please remember that one. This will be extremely helpful for you. Uh, let me see some other assets right now. The candle is changing color, guys. The step number one is clear to us. But if you see, it's not crossing 20, right? It just took a turn. What we mentioned over here is that stochastic is below 20, above 80. It means it's crossing the 80 or 20 barrier, which is not happening. So it is a bit risky over here for us to take a trade. And I would personally be recommending that we should avoid trading on this one, okay? But of course, it's a personal choice to make. If you want, you can take a trade. And you know what? Let us just take a trade only. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let's see Euro Composite Index. Again, guys, if you see over here, only one candle form. So just imagine if I would have opened up our trades over here. That is why you need to see over here also that the stochastic should cross and it was not crossing. So here I wouldn't be opening a trade. You have to literally wait and see if the crossing is happening. If the crossing is happening, then you can take a trade. Like here, we need to wait for a candle more maybe because the crossing has not happened yet and the same thing can repeat again. So whenever you are doing a trade, please make sure that you follow all the steps that have been mentioned over here because they are equally important. Okay. Let me put a star over here because I don't know why I believe that I can open a trade on this one in particular in a minute or two maybe. Because I think crossing will happen pretty soon over this one. Uh, not a chance because candle is not changing color. So, the trade that we opened is not profitable. The trade we opened perfectly fine. We had a profitable trade. So, now you can see. I mentioned earlier only that we shouldn't be opening a trade on this one because I'm not sure of the signal right now and see. So that is why I took this trade just to provide a better clarification that we shouldn't be opening a trade if we don't see these two steps being followed. Okay. So never trade in hurry, never trade out of uh, uh, any FOMO fear of missing out because what will happen, you will suffer a loss of 5 USD like I'm going to do in this particular trade. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if this will go profitable or not because I was not getting a clear signal. And the same thing I would be recommending all of you right now. Over here, again, the same situation. We, don't, we have no chance to take a trade, so I will not take a trade. Unfortunately, situation is same on Astro Index as well. Let's go to BK23 Index and I can't take a trade here either. Unfortunately. Let's go to Euro USD. We could have opened a trade here a couple of minutes back, but right now it's a bit too late, you know, because the transition from green to red has happened long time back. Like my candle is a one minute. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, more than six minutes back. So we are quite late actually. So we shouldn't be opening a trade over this one right now. If you go to GBP USD, uh, again, the candle is changing the color, but the crossing has not happened. It's not coming fire crossing. So we shouldn't be opening a trade. And that's why to, uh, I gave you guys this example. Okay. Okay. 
here actually we can open a trade let's see how this one goes here also we can open a trade because the crossing has not happened but it's most of it will happen pretty soon and we can wait for some time and definitely can open a trade on this one as well but let's see how it goes uh and the crossing has happened Here we can't open a trade because the first step is not clear itself because the candle has not changed color yet. Okay, guys. Uh, one disclaimer from my end: whenever you are trading, please don't follow the way I am following my trade because I believe every trader is quite different, and the way you are trading should depend upon what your account balance is. Uh, on this particular multi account, I have eighty three point seven four USD, but I have other balances as well to recover my losses. Even in case if I suffer a loss of less than five hundred USD. So please make sure that whenever you are trading, the balance that you're using for your trade is dependent on your trading strategy and on your account balance. Do not copy my trades; it can be really risky for your account balance. Okay? Uh, this webinar is not for earning purpose. This is for learning purpose. Let's focus on the learning for a moment. And post fifty minutes, we can definitely use it for earning as well. All right? Uh, it's quite a borderline case because we don't know what will happen because I'm opening a trade of really smaller duration of two minutes only, and that's why I always recommend my friends that whenever you are trading, please make sure trade for a longer length, otherwise it can be really risky for you. But let's see how this one goes. At the moment, it's not profitable, but let's see. Uh, let me see some currency assets in the meantime to see if I can find any good signal over there to start a trade. Here on Australian dollar, US dollar, I have a good chance because the candle has changed color. But if you see stochastic, the crossing has not happened near twenty yet. So as far our experience goes, we shouldn't be opening a trade over here, right? But we can wait. We can wait and see if the crossing happens because if the crossing happens, we definitely can open a trade. And that's why I always recommend that have your patience with you because your patience will help in the long run. To make sure you make enough profitability in your account, okay. Ah, uh, right now the crossing is happening, and let me open a trade and see how this one goes. Here the crossing has happened. Here we are a couple of minutes late actually, and even if we were somewhere here, guys, again. Ah, uh, why I'm repeating myself again and again because it can be a bit confusing, and if you get confusing, you might open wrong trades for you all. Okay, so even in this case, if we were somewhere here, you can see the crossing is not happening. So in such a situation, we shouldn't be opening a trade. It can be extremely risky. Okay. Ah, uh, let me go to AUD CAD. The crossing has happened. It has changed color. Let me open a trade. Here the color is changed. Uh, the crossing has not happened yet, so we can wait for some time to see it, and then of course we can open a trade. If I go to CAD JPY. The color has changed. The crossing has just happened a couple of minutes back, and it is a near zero. So it means all the conditions over here are satisfied. So we can open a trade over here. Let's see how it goes. Not a chance over here on Euro AUD. We can't open a trade. If I go to Euro Canadian dollar, I don't think we can. I think we can. At the moment, uh, when I see right now, I have one trade is profitable. Uh, okay, this is not in, my Euro USD trade is not in profit at the moment. Not an issue. This one is also not in profit, but I have enough time. Hopefully, it will come around. This one didn't go in profit. This one hopefully will be profitable. But at the moment, I have a fifty percent success rate because. I had three trades which were profitable and three which were not profitable. Ah, uh, this case. 
But out of this one, if you guys know already, I told you guys in the very beginning that this trade will not be profitable because I opened it with wrong signal. Just to clarify why we should always follow a particular signal. Okay. So make sure to remember that one. The situation has changed drastically right now for us. Let's see how these things goes. And in the meantime, let me see some comments from my friends. Uh, where I was. Sorry for no voice from my end, guys. So yeah, we were looking at from the com some of the comments. Uh, so withdrawal problem not solved. Tarakanta Rao, I'm really sorry if you are facing a withdrawal issue at the moment. My recommendation would be please have a con uh, connect with the customer support. They are better at resolving this issue because this webinar is not about withdrawal. This webinar is about the road your strategy, right? Uh, Ashbir TV, hi bro, my withdrawal is not given to the bank, it shows stressful in app and please tell me six days, please help. Again, I would like to repeat myself in this case, guys, unfortunately at the moment, I will not be able to do much for you in terms of withdrawal is concerned. I can help you a lot where, where your trading is concerned. But if you want to talk about your withdrawal, I think customer support would be a better person to have that conversation. Okay. Uh... Okay, so at the moment, uh, there has been no, not much questions about the rodeo strategy and that's what my request for you all guys are, that please make sure you let me know about your concern to the withdraw, uh, the trading on the platform, how you are using the rodeo strategy and in case if it is clear to you, please recommend me some assets on which you guys want me to take a trade on, okay, because that way the people who are still not having that much of clarification will have a better understanding about it, okay, so please let me know. So that we can have a much better trading result in this situation. Let me check the currency assets in the meantime. The crossing has happened. The color has changed. Uh, let's see if it continues to be green or not. If it will be, I will open a trade. And looks like it will not be green. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So for my candle is a one minute duration, I'm waiting for the first 15 seconds to see and right now it's not green, so there's no point in opening a trade on this one. I will wait for some time. Let's see. Over here, uh, I guess we are a bit late considering the jump has been quite high, so we can't open trade on this one at the moment. So it's not an issue. We can't open a trade right now because the candle has changed color, but there has been no crossing happening lately, so there's no point. It's okay. Again, guys, I would have to clarify that right now I'm not in profit because only 34% of my trades have been profitable. But even in this case, I am in no hurry to recover the losses because what has been happening based on my account balance, I have been trading for a very small amount so that even in case if I make a loss, that won't really uh, affect me much. And I would have ample amount of opportunities to recover that amount as well. Okay. And that's the exact approach I would recommend you all guys that whenever you are trading, please make sure you take into consideration what your account balance is and decide the trading amount based on that. So that even in case a couple of trade does not go profitable, you still have some amount left to recover that. And that is the only reason why I'm trading on this account of mine instead of this one or this one. Because I guess you guys can relate to the webinar more if I have a limited amount of money and that's why I chose this one. And it was profitable, but at the moment this is not profitable, but let's see how it goes. But even in that case, I will make sure to keep, keep myself calm and composed because that is the only way to recover your losses. Okay. And considering uh, my success rate is not more than 60% at the moment. I will not be doubling the amount as per the Martingale principle. Many of my friends I talk to every single day, all they say is that, you know what, I, I took a trade, it was not profitable, I doubled the amount, I took the trade, not profitable, double the amount again, my entire balance is gone. 
I tell them one very basic thing. You have to understand marketing principle is not for everyone. It's for people who have really good amount of experience in trading. So one simple rule for you guys, whenever you are trading, your success is more than 60%. You can go for Martin Girl, but if it goes less than 60%, please don't go for that one. It is not good for your account balance. Okay. You can see right now, all of my trades have been a five USD only because my success rate is not more than 60%. And I told in the very beginning of the webinar, this is not about making profit, but this is also about handling the losses. If you can handle the losses well, I can guarantee you one thing. You will make sure to have profitable trades by the end of the day as well. Okay. So we are close to having profitability because we are 46% and I'll make sure that we get to a better percentage by the end of this webinar. So nothing to worry about, nothing to hurry about. Make sure you do our uh, trading calm and steady. Let me see some other assets in the meantime. Over here, see the crossing has happened. The candle has changed color. But just for the security purpose, what we can do is you can wait for some time more because here, if you see the MACD cloud, it's not approaching zero. So what we can do is wait, we can, we can wait for the next candle to come and based on that, we can decide whether to open a trade on this one in particular or not. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see how this one goes. At the moment, can I open a trade on this one? Let me see. And the green candle is still forming. So I can open it. And what has happened guys is that I got profitability on this one. So right now I have 50% success rate. So from 38% to we reach 50%. Why? Because we didn't hurry with our trades. What we did is we follow the very basic formula of these two steps. If you do this, by the end of the day, you will have enough profitability. So never run in a hurry because it will cause you more harm than good. Please remember that. So now let's see some other assets. If we can find some more assets to have some profitable trades from uh, on USD, Japanese, they are not at the moment. If I go AUD, CAD. I think we can do something over here. Let's see because crossing has happened. The candle has changed color. If we go green for next candle, we can definitely open a trade on this one and it has done that. So let's see how this goes. If I go to Euro AUD, uh, the crossing has happened, but the candle has not changed the color yet. So what we need to do, we need to wait for the candle to change the color and hopefully we can have a profitable trade because of that. So let me put a star. Oh, there's already a star. We can check these assets also, but there's 30% return. So there's no point in putting your amount at risk for this less of return. So we will not go on these assets at the moment. We'll go back again to see some other assets who are giving us 90% rate of return. Uh, the crossing has happened. Let me open a trade on Asia composite index. Uh, the crossing has happened, but the candle has not changed color in downward direction. So we can't open a trade on gold at the moment. Let me see AUD USD again. And the same situation is over here. If I go to Euro composite, I can't open a trade because the crossing has not happened for a really long time. So there's no point in wasting my time on Euro composite. So you guys saw that having this information also makes you realize where you shouldn't be opening a trade. So it's all about two things in particular. Number one thing, when to take a trade. Number two thing, when not to take a trade. And these two things combined will definitely help you to have a wonderful trading result. Okay. Now let me see again on commodity composite. If I go, so there's no chance for me to take a trade over here right now because there has been no reversal. It means no candle color is changing at the moment. So it's okay. We can remove the star right now. We'll go to Astro. If I go to Astro at the moment, the reversal is happening. But will it happen more? Let me wait for the next candle because we can see three candles form red. Then again, it went to green. So predominantly it's going green only, but let's see if we get a good red and we didn't. Uh, as you guys saw right now, it was, uh, I'm glad that I waited right now because this again went in up direction. So there's no point in waiting here and taking a trade in downward direction. So we'll avoid this one. Let's go to cricket 23 index. And over here, if we see 
okay this trade went profitable so now we are 58 percent but looks like this might not go in profit for us let me check asia composite index what is the issue oh it's a close call right now i don't know what will happen in this case and that is the issue you know when you open it for two minutes this type of situation happens a lot that's why i always recommend people guys please go for a longer trading duration it will help you better but nothing to worry about at least what is happening is that we are starting making profit now that's a wonderful thing slow and steady start as you can see right now i also had non-profitable trades so no one can tell you okay you know what i'll tell you something i'll give you one great secret because of which you will not have a single non-profitable trade trust me that guy is scamming you because whatever you do in trading there will always be non-profitable trade because all you are doing is making a prediction okay so please make sure that you know how to handle the losses because that is the only way you will know how to handle the profit you know as people say in life if you can't handle the failure what makes you think you can handle the success because there are many people who are not able to handle their success. And I, I'm sure you guys know someone who would be telling you, you know what, in the morning I made tons of profit. By the end of the day, I lost all of that profit. Why was that happening? Because they were not able to handle the profit as well. So whatever comes your way, make sure you have a calm head, you are composed and you tackle it with nice and calm and composed too. Uh, like right now, I have no chance on this one. So I will not be putting my money on Hold. If I see Asia Composite Index again, I can't take a trade. I can't take a trade on this one. Let me go to AUD USD. So there has been no sign whatsoever of reversal on AUD USD. So there's no point again wasting a minute over here. Let me just go back to some other assets to see if I can find something over there. Euro Composite, not a chance. Commodity Composite, again, not a chance. But nothing to worry about. We'll go to Astro Index. So, on Astro, the situation is that we are not, we will not be able to make a trade. Over here, if I go to PK23 index, see the reversal is happening, but if you see how small of a duration this is, you can see a pattern following over here. And this just goes to show that it can be really risky to invest your amount in this one. So we can avoid it like it was just for three minutes only so it can be really risky in that way but if you want you can open a trade let me see how this one goes but again i'm not very sure of this one again we can't open a trade on this one we can't open a trade on euro usd if i go to gbp usd the reversal is happening it is crossing let's see if we can open a trade on this one and Mahajanta reversal is happening. If I go to Mooch index, oh god, I missed it. If we were somewhere here, we could have opened a trade and we could have had easily make a profitable trade, right? Like, you know, these things, these trends, oh my god, you can make such good amount of money on these trends following. And just imagine if we were somewhere here and we would have opened an up trade direction we would have made a such a wonderful profit on this trade but it's okay we'll get ample opportunities with other, other assets in that case if i go to AUDJPY, there's no reversal so of course there's no point putting your money over this one so let's move to some other asset i'll go to bdix which is basic dollar index the reversal is happening crossing is happening the color candle is changing its color let's wait for a minute or two to see if we can open a trade on this one or not At the moment, can I make a trade? Because the moment is really low. Mm. <laughs> By the way, what do you guys recommend me? Shall I open a trade over here right now or shall I wait for some time? Uh, whatever you guys will say, I will follow it because that can help you to also see whether your judgment is accurate or not. Okay? So let me know. In the comment section, please feel free to let me know what do you guys want me to do. I will do exactly the same thing. Thank God we waited. Thank God we waited because now if you see the trade is not going in up direction. It's not showing any reversal whatsoever. So I'm glad we didn't open a trade on this one right now. Let's see some other assets. Okay, we can't go on this one because the duration will increase to 5 minutes in that case. 
let me see the currencies again in that case. And we can't open a trade on this one. <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> if you see, we are just on the verge of making a profit. So it means we are not in losses right now. And this is something which I want you guys to have a experience of that in case the day is not going by your way, how to make sure your loss is minimized and you don't go through much losses. Because many of my friends who I talk to every single day do come to me and they're like, you know what, I had a loss this is someone and I'm like, how the hell did that happen to you? Because if I know I have 200 USD in my account, my that particular day loss in case of that happens will never cross beyond 40 USD for example. It will not. Like if you guys remember, this was the exact amount with what I started and somewhere around that amount I'm only there, right? So I didn't have any major losses. And that's exactly what I want you guys to know that in case if you're not able to make profitable trips, at least you should not be making any huge losses also. That's what my concern is for you all. Like right now, if you see the crossing has happened, the candle has changed the color, but it is going back to green again. And that's where we should avoid taking any trade on this particular asset. But guys, I think I've given even enough demonstration regarding how to do trading with the help of Rodeo strategy. And we had a fair share of profitable trades and of course, non-profitable trades as well. But the most important part about this is that whether the procedure or the approach is clear to you guys or not, because that's what I'm most concerned about. So in the comment section, please let me know what you guys think about this Rodeo strategy and what has your experience been. And of course, if you have any questions about this, Please shoot them towards me. I'll make sure to address all of them. Okay. In the meantime, I see some comments by my friend Hug Life. Uh, good to see some recovery happening. Thank you so much. Abhishek, Indian Post Bank. I'm not sure exactly what this is about. Mm, take down trade. I believe you were talking about the last trade that I was asking you, but it's okay. Uh, in the meantime, guys, please let me know any of your questions, any of your doubts about this strategy because in the last couple of minutes of this webinar, I want to address all of them for you so that when the webinar ends, you all are satisfied and fully confident regarding how to use the rodeo strategy. If someone wants me to explain the steps again, I can do that, but I need to see enough people asking about the same thing. Okay. So the chat option, please use it. Please let me know how was the experience in this webinar and what else you guys want me to discuss in the webinar in the coming days so that we can take these topics as suggestions from your end, okay? It looks good, but want to see some longer duration trades. To be honest with you, the logic behind longer duration trade why we don't follow is that if I take a trade for 10 minutes, we can open two or three trades only and that's all. Uh, what you can do is that, for example, if I show you this one, so whatever the time frame you're taking for the candle, no, make sure your time frame is at least twice or thrice of that time frame. So if I talk about longer duration trade, let's say I go 15 minutes. So I take a trade for more than half an hour or around 45 minutes or 50 minutes something. So that way you can have a much better trading result also. Okay. So that way you can do it. Any other question guys, because I would love to address all of your questions right now, please feel free to shoot it towards me and I want to address each and every single one of them so you can start using the rodeo strategy right away. But of course, one recommendation, one suggestion that start trading, start trading with rodeo in your demo account instead of live account so that you get comfortable with this one first, you get confident with this one first and of course, post that we can shift from demo to live account and start trading with real accounts. But I don't want you all to put your money at risk in the very beginning. So please make sure that whenever you are trading, you are aware of the risk you are taking. You are aware that if I if you are opening a trade of let's say 10 USD, you are basically putting 10 USD at risk to earn profit out of it. For example, if I'm taking all these trades, I have put my money at risk. I put 5 USD at risk to earn the profit of 4.10 USD. Here the risk was worth having, but here I lost that amount also. 
that is why i was so much insisting on providing you guys this information because this can really help you to change the course of your account balance okay so please make sure whenever you are trading you are following proper steps because that can really help you to maintain and achieve your account balance for the end of the day uh thug life the strategy that we give it for taking longer duration trades as well absolutely yes and you know what the great part about this strategy is that you can use this strategy for forex trading as well like if i go on this one if you see over here ftt and fx it means if you are trading on forex you can use this strategy on forex as well and that's a great thing that's how versatile this strategy is like other strategies or any confusion regarding how and where i have used this strategy please feel free to ask me the question okay so this is the page if you guys want this like thug life you can also take a screenshot of this one because that will be all that you need as a reminder okay you know what i forgot how to use zodiac strategy what do i do you don't need to watch anything else you can just go to this webinar to get a uh, real life examples of how to use it or you can just see the screenshot that i have written for you guys over here step 1 step 2 and of course if you want more precise answers you can include step 3 as well but step 3 is optional if you want you can avoid step 3 as well that's all up to you how you want to approach things okay guys this webinar i think i would be concluding in the next couple of minutes so please if you still have any questions feel free to ask me and of course if you have the expert status video you are also have the access of using the blog dot allam trade dot com you can start checking out many articles that can help you in trading for example the expert reviews market news advanced analytics technical fundamental money management trading tips video lessons because many of my friends they say you know what I am opening trade I feel like opening in up direction I open in up direction but I am like man this is really not that simple you need to have some analysis to make sure you have a favorable result you know trading is not rocket science that's true but it, that also doesn't mean that trading is a very simple thing so you have to find a middle line where you're not taking it too seriously but you're still taking it seriously to learn about it you know it's like driving a car without learning how to drive a car it can be fatal for you and for people around you so make sure you have the proper information before you start using any strategy or any indicator like right now the people who have watched this webinar with me they can start using rodeo because they have the detailed information they have seen me making profitable trades they have seen me making trades that were not profitable as well and that experience will help you guys to make a wise and a right decision while using this strategy in particular okay so guys if there is no more questions in that situation what i will do is i will take to leave so please i'll be asking you guys again if there is any other question you guys want to ask about this webinar about rodeo strategy please let me know i will make sure to address it okay but looks like there is no question so in that case guys i'll take your leave uh, you guys have a great fun have a great evening and all the best to you